a ring of gold in Texas. There's a ring of solid gold. There's a ring of gold in Texas that for centuries untold. I was walking in. <laughs> I was walking my dog, parked very close to where I live in Seattle, and another man's dog ran up to mine, and we started talking. He was a composer, and I'd heard some of his. I'd heard something of him. You know, it was a composer, basically of musicals. And so we were just talking about it, and he found out what I did, and, and, and I said, hey, you know, I've been trying to, I've been wanting to do something that would run alongside the ring, that would be what we were doing, the ring this summer, that was the summer, okay. of, that was, the, this was probably, you know, this time of the year in 91. And I said, would you be interested in doing something? Because I said, I don't want a, I, I said, I know what I want. I don't want a parody of the ring. There have been 100,000 parodies of the ring. I want something different. I want. I want to hear. I want to. I want to have something that talks about what the ring characters do when they're off stage. So the more I talked, the more interested he was. And he said, "I have a friend in New York named Jim Lewis who I know would love to write this." Just the collaboration just began. I mean, it, it just occurred to me out of the blue. I mean, I I sort of thought about things, but I hadn't really thought of anything. Okay, very cool. So, had you worked with Scott Warrender before? No, 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 I just had never, I never... So you just randomly met him? I, I had no idea who he was, we just met. I just, I did know the the uh, Chainsaw Murder, whatever it's called, the, chain, the, the Texas Chainsaw Murder. Oh, okay. I'd seen that. You awesome. know, and I liked it, and I knew he was a composer who, you know, who wrote, wrote pretty music. Cool. So does the Seattle Opera Company commission works like this very often? I commissioned anything before or after. Oh, wow. Okay. What is the process of commissioning a new work? How does that work? Well, now, we're talking operas. Right. You're talking about an opera. That's a whole complicated process. You, you, you find an idea. You talk to the composer. You commission the composer. He finds a librettist. You commission the librettist. Um, you know, you, 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 you know, then you, and you, you're very specific about how many instruments. Uh, you're going to have in the orchestra nowadays how many chorus people you're going to use. You go through, you know, and you have approval statements where you go through and you approve the text, and then you approve the, you know, when you finally approve the text, then the composer starts composing and he comes and you know, listen and you listen to what he's done and you either accept it or you don't, and then you have the next step and you have to find blah blah blah. Just you know, it's a tiresome, long process, but yeah. it has to be done because it's so expensive. With this, it was much. This, what was they started work on it. I started, you know, and then every every the steps all along the way I would see it I, you know I would see what they were doing and then people here you know would look at it too in the, in the company and then you know because it was it was all a more casual thing I mean we certainly never expected to do anything that had the legs that has on it yeah oh, you wow. know, never dreamt of this you know? that's so cool Seattle is famous for the ring cycle we did it oh, wow. Uh, we did it. We started the ring cycles here by my predecessor in '75. I, they did it every year then for eight years. Then oh, I nice. took over and did a different kind of ring, a rather European ring. And we did it in '86, '87, '91, '95. And then I have a second ring I created, which we did in 2001, 2005, 2009. And we do the, we do it again this year. See, people come here. People come to Seattle. I mean, I'm not exaggerating this. We have the last ring and. We have 50 people come from 50, all 50 states and 18 foreign countries. I mean, you know, this ring that we're doing this summer, we already have, last time I checked, there were 49 states and 10 foreign countries. So it'll it'll add up by the time we finish selling everything. Did Das Barbecue have the effect that you wanted on the... Oh, yeah, absolutely. We've done it twice here, and it was, people loved it. They went and they had a good time, and it was fun. How did those who were devoted to the authentic ring respond? Ring goers loved this. You see, what always shocked me so was that I never dreamt this would work in communities that didn't know the ring or didn't know Wagner, and that's what shocked me so. My, you know, and then he worked in all these college towns, and when I first went to see it in Dallas, which has never done a ring, and, and I saw it at the Dallas Theater Center, I was amazed at the audience, how they caught on to it, how they loved it, and everything, and then I saw it in, I went to it in Baltimore, and that's even less likely, they loved it there. You know, it was really fascinating. Very cool. So, do you have like a favorite song or moment that's in the show? Oh well, I mean, I think the the Ron daughters, the treatment of the Ron daughters, is something that I, I I mean, I laugh every time I think about it. I mean, there are so many things. I love the waltz. The, what is it called? You haven't thought about the music in a long time. The waltz. The uh, the there's a wonderful waltz in it. It's just gorgeous. Um, is that slide a little closer? 
Yeah, Five Little Toaster, yeah. which is beautiful. And there are a lot of beautiful things in it, really. I mean, there are a lot of, but I mean, I, I think that the treatment of the Rhine Daughters is, and then I, oh, I love the, the, um, uh, the, when Freya sings about having been with the giants. I mean, that's one of the funniest things that anybody yeah. ever thought of. Because we always know, we always wonder what happened to it. See, it was exactly, that was, see, everything wasn't exactly the way I wanted it, of course, as it never is, you know, but that was exactly, that was what the whole thing was supposed to be about. It's lots of fun, and just do it and have a good time, and, you know, and, and uh, I hope it's a big success. Thank you so much, and thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Oh, sure, it's a pleasure. Well, best of luck with the rest of your season. We'll definitely continue to have fun with this amazing work that you've created. Yeah, well, I, I think it's, it, I think you'll, uh, you know, constantly enjoy it, okay? Thank you. Slide a little closer, darling, nice and slow Turn your pretty eyes toward mine, there you go Dip your hand in my back pocket, now I'm ten feet 